Hi, it's Novia from Adulting with Novia, and today we're going to be working on the July monthly spread in my Erin Condren Life Planner, which I'm using as a homeschool planner. I'm going to eventually be using a printable sticker kit from an Etsy shop called Bling Bling Planner. Don't worry, I'll post the details about it below. But before we get into the whole sticker part, let's knock out this notes page here. Now this year's Life Planner note page is different from last year's because last year's had the four little circles and the little sections, but in the 2018-2019 Life Planner, it's just completely lined, which I am a-okay with because it allows me to customize it to be exactly what I need it to be. And what I need it to be is basically a monthly overview page. So when coming up and figuring out what I wanted to be on this monthly overview page, I made a list. I had a whole list of possibilities. There's library checkout, to cut, to print, resources that I may be using that month, events that we may be going to regarding co-ops, meetings, meetups, playdates, library events, local events, not so local events memberships to pay, goals that I may have or she may have, and memories. Now what I ended up choosing is a library checkout, a to-do list, an event, a birthday section, which actually wasn't even originally on my list, and a memory section. And right now I've colored in the July with my Tombow pen and now I'm using the Bic whiteout tape to take out the flag and I'm using this gold glitter scotch tape to make my own little cuter flag I guess to go with the sticker kit which is going to happen on the monthly spread. And then I tried, I swear I tried this. I'm like, I'm gonna go at this and have a straight line. So I brought out my little quilting ruler, which I love over all rulers or, or quilting rulers. And I'm like, I'm gonna make this a straight line. And then I'm like, no, nah, I'm not gonna struggle bus and fight with this spiral. We're just gonna just, I'm just gonna doodle it out. We'll be all right. It'll, it'll make it, I swear. So I actually made a bookshelf for my library checkout list. What, and I drew out the books and I'm going to write the titles in the spine of whatever books or resources or DVDs, CDs, whatever I may need to check out from my local library. I love our local library. It's probably the greatest thing that's in our city is our library. And it has everything and I love it. I drew out some banners here and some bullet points for my to-do list and my events list. That little envelope there with the little bow, that's actually going to be for the birthdays. And the reason why I wanna keep track of birthdays in my homeschool planner is because I have my daughter send out letters and birthday cards and things on family members and friends' birthdays. It's just another way that I incorporate writing practice, spelling practice, just, in, in just everyday work. Well, I would consider sending out a birthday card work, but you get what I mean. At the bottom, I drew some, I drew a little line and some pins and little Polaroids to mark out some important memories that happened that month. Milestones, just little things to remember that you forget later on in the year. And it's nice to go back to see like, oh, this happened, this is when this happened. It's, it's kind of amazing. And right now I'm going in with my Tombow. I swear I'm gonna butcher this name, and I'm sorry. I, I'm trying. Widnosuki, Fizuki, brush pen, whatever. I I tried it. I'll put the link down below. Because <laughs> no matter how hard I try, I cannot get that name right. And whatever. I tried. Tap out. And now I'm going back in with my regular old Tombow brush marker to thicken the downstrokes because I am a novice calligrapher, brush pinner, I don't know, but I'm very new to it. So 
I'm just, I'm struggle busting through this process. <laughs> Are you, do you brush, use brush pen? Can I speak? Do you use brush pens? Like, are you good at it? I don't know. I feel like people are so concerned about making things look pretty. Like, I know my my novice brush pen manship is not great looking, but I'm not going to stop that from me actually using it and showing you. Because we all got to start somewhere, right? Now we're in our monthly spread. And you were using the Bling Bling Planner kit. And... This is the washi sheet here, and it only comes with one, but I printed it twice because I suspect that the washi strip that I'm using is supposed to be the bottom washi, but I'm using it here because I'm actually not planning on using bottom washi in my weekly spreads, which you'll see in another video. So right now I'm whiting out the edges and trying to, it's gonna take me a minute I'm, I'm, as I try and center it out but I actually used it on top of my monthly spread since I'm not gonna use it for my bottom washi. On the other side, I actually wrote out July. So you see, it's pretty. I really do love this kit. It's very, very cute. And right now you'll catch me looking at one of my dollar spot post-its from Target that I've had for flipping ever. <laughs> Trying to see what I'm actually putting on this thing. I'm laying down some more of that gold scotch tape washi because during that time, my daughter has swim camp. It is the only camp she could agree on. Last year, we did um, a camp with our local YMCA where they actually, you know, bust out the kids to the camp every day and came back and, you know, they had pool time and she hated it because wasp. There's a lot of, apparently there's a lot of wasps at this camp and it was just not her jam. So this year she settled on swim camp, which is fine. It's a skill she needs to learn. Let's do it. <laughs> so I'm using a sticker from the Happy Girl. Is it Happy Girl? Yeah, the Happy Girl Happy Planner sticker book because that's the only place I could find a swim icon. And now I'm looking through my little things. I'm trying to figure out what I, like which stickers I should use to mark events on which days. And I was thinking like, oh, I'm gonna use one of the, you know, the ones in the little things, on the little things page. And then eventually I was like, no, that's too small. I write really big, so it's a struggle for me to write small. <laughs> and that was way too small for me to even try. So eventually I went with a half box. No, yeah, I went with a half box to mark events. And then I found these quarter boxes on another, on a completely different plate page. And I went with those instead. Now I don't have a cutting machine. So what I did while I was, you know, at work during my lunch was I tried to kiss cut it is that what it's called? Kiss cut it. Each of the pages with my X-Acto knife and that big old drafting ruler you saw earlier. But I'm not the best cutter. So I have to, some, on some of them, I had to go back once I tried to peel them off and go at them with scissors to get all the extra white off. But you know what? Who cares? <laughs> like seriously, you really don't need a whole bunch of expensive things to make your spreads look nice. You don't even have to do this to your spread. I choose to do this to my spread because it actually keeps me motivated to keep planning. That seriously, it's the only thing. And some days it may look like this and some days it may look completely not decorated at all. It just depends on my mood. And right now my mood is using this super duper cute 4th of July theme kit with this little cute little Lady Liberty. That's what my mood is. <laughs> Still struggle busting with those stickers. Now I'm whiting out the 4th of July and I'm using the dates and holidays happy planner book to get out the gold 4th of July there. 
And now, okay, so now I'm looking through the Planner Basics Happy Planner sticker book to figure out a way to mark the birthdays so that way I know when it's time to send out a card. Well, I know when to tell my daughter when it's time to send out a card because I'm pretty sure she'll put those in her planner too when we work on our monthly setup, other monthly setups on Sunday because that's our planner day. That's our bonding time, me and my daughter. So she'll put it in hers, but she won't remember. So I think I eventually decided on these little gold stars from the Happy Planner Mom sticker book. That really should be called an adulting sticker book. If they took out like the mom hair don't care stickers and the ones about kids being amazing, it would really just be a regular old adulting sticker book. And then here I took one of the little small washi strips to cover up that little flag there. Because along this side, this on the note section, this note sidebar, I guess, is where I'm going to put like our goals, like where I want us to be by the end of the month in our curriculum. And since July is the last month in our air quotes here, school year, this, I want everything to be, majority of everything to be completed except for math and spelling because those those two are ongoing all the time and now i'm just filling in all the events so i think on that day there's rock painting but i have to look up the time look up the time to see when that's supposed to be happening and then i marked out grandpa's birthday at least i hope i always forget people's exact birthdays like I, I i i know the general date so i may be off a date or two and then on the 31st the library is having a mythology mania event which i'm pretty excited about for the, for her to experience and my mom's birthday is next Friday. No pressure. And another event. It's called Fiddle Feet. That's so cute. It's somehow incorporating reading and music. I don't care. Just take all my money. Just take all my money. So it's important to note that in this planner, only homeschooling events happen in this planner in particular. I don't put anything really personal that has to do with, you know, my life, like bills or anything like that, that doesn't go in this planner. It's only things that we're planning on doing relating to homeschooling and learning. And then our 4-H County Fair is this month, which is pretty nice because that's a great learning opportunity for her when it comes to animals. There's lots of them. She loves going. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt that there'll be elephant ears and cotton candy, but really there for the animals. Not really, I'm really there for the elephant ears and cotton candy. <laughs> but the fact that she's learning things, it doesn't hurt either. And then our library is actually having a really cute Pete the Cat event where the kids get to meet Pete the Cat. Um, I can't, she really loves Pete the Cat. She's nine and she's kind of old for Pete the Cat, but she really does like love Pete the Cat. So who am I to hate on her for trying to live her best life? So I'm gonna take her there to see that because that's not gonna be creepy at all, right? Some guy dressed as Pete the Cat. But whatevs. So now I bust out my Tombow Fendosuki. I'm really trying with that name. To write out swim camp. To just signify that that's what that gold washi tape is for because obviously I'm gonna forget what it's for if I don't write down that it's swim camp, right?
Now I'm going to write out the, the subjects. And so that way I know what to write in later, like where she should be in her math, since math is ongoing and it doesn't end. Like where she should be at the end of the month for math, where she should be at the month end of the month for grammar, where she should be in writing, where she should be in spelling. Because once the end of July happens, we take a break for an entire month and we don't pick anything back up until the day after Labor Day. Well, she doesn't. I do because I have to start actually planning our school year out. But for her, she's excited. She gets a, she'll get a month off. But that's way I know where to pick back up when it comes to spelling, where we're picking back up. Well, actually, we're not picking back up in math because math is ongoing. But there you go. Here's the end of the spread. So if you like this video, please make sure you give me the thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell ringer to get notifications.